Have you ever had that moment when you're playing Lemon Shark and all of a sudden the divers seem to kill you constantly over and over again and you're just like, The way you feel, one kiss is all it takes, falling in love with me. <laughs> Well, 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 that's where I come in to try and help you. Now, I gotta say, this is not a guide. If you want to look at a guide, wa watch this uh, scrumptious guy's video or something. But this, no, nah, this is me taking you through a walkthrough on two separate games that I played. One against divers that are a little bit less organized and some that are a little more organized. So I can show you the different strategies to use a lemon shark in order to win the game. Also, very quick PSA, do not ever use the default piss cloud skin. It is so bad because you'll be spotted a mile away. Here's some side-by-side -side, uh, footage of the piss cloud skin versus the king skin versus the shade skin. They are so much more hidden than the piss cloud skin. Just like, don't use it, ever. So basically, if you have no life, like the, the, this guy right over here, then absolutely spend your money and buy the shade skin because it looks absolutely phenomenal and well hidden. But if not, it's also completely fine to get the king skin because as you guys could see, while it wasn't as good as the shade skin, it was still very, very well hidden, especially compared to that piss cloud skin. The lemon is a sprinter shark, and this basically means I'm not going to be using any lunges or dashes to get to the divers. And it also means I can pop my ability off because its recharge is still going down while the ability is active. Now, it appears I've made it to the divers, and we have two divers collecting gold, both of which don't seem to be paying any attention. However, the one in the back does have an easier time flicking his mouse upwards to see me if I grab the one in the front. So instead, I grab the one in the back, and then proceed to look at the one in the front once I finish the kill. However, the one in the front seems to have been grabbed by my teammate and killed. Next, I notice that my teammate, or the bot, grabs the other person, the third person in the four-man diver group, which means that there's only one person left, aside from the person who just spawned, but that person's probably disoriented, and I'll take my chances. Once I spot the last diver, who is in the top right corner, I decide to grab him and quickly lunge back out the way I came in. Then my teammate decides to be an absolute Chad and grab the last diver, killing him. Now this puts me in the predicament of grabbing either the person in the front or the person in the back who's surveying. So obviously I grab the person who's in the back and escape. Then I decide to look back and notice no divers chasing me, and I also notice that my health allows for another kill. So I decide to go back in and kill the guy who's watching the room rather than the guy who's collecting the gold, and then go to heal. Now this next maneuver is a little bit more risky. I notice this guy in the top right corner. However, there are these two guys who are also surveying the area and might cause a little bit of trouble. However, I have faith that I can grab this guy, kill him, and not die before I'm able to lunge back out of there. There were some narrow misses, but I luckily made it out of there. At this point, my attacks are starting to become a little bit predictable as I've attacked from the same place twice. So I decide to open up this wall and survey the area a little bit. After looking, I notice that there are three divers in here, and the last one I assume my bot, who I notice off in the corner, might likely grab. So I instead decide to focus on just these three. However, the one closest to me, who's surveying the room, he didn't kill me last time, and not only that, if I decide to go over and try and grab him, there isn't really going to be an easy method of escape. On the other hand, there's this guy over here who is clearly picking up gold off in that little corner over there. So I don't actually view him as a threat if I decide to grab any of the other guys. And then lastly, we have this guy who's just surveying Steve. And not only that, he's also in a shark highway, or a relative shark highway, where it will be easy to grab him and escape. So that's what I do. After healing, I decide to come back and notice Steve is on his move, which means the divers are about to be coming out in the open. So I pop my ability upon approaching the open area and look at the divers to see where they are. I notice this guy looking up right at me, so I decide to avoid him and instead of attacking right here, swim off to the side. However, I'm also in the belief that since I have 70 points, 
I am completely fine with dying because it means that it'll allow me to get hangry and my two lemon abilities, which is definitely what I'm going for. So I'm not too, too focused on preserving my life here. That being said, I notice this oblivious diver deciding to just swim out in the open, so I decide to snag him and swim away off into the open ocean. I then notice tank fucking Zilla over here grab a diver, and I decide to watch and see what happens. I do notice that tank Zilla dies, and so I look at the diver who killed him, and decide to grab him as the other diver who was just grabbed is now disoriented and won't be able to help his surveyor. I then go back to attack the first diver, the one that was originally grabbed, but I notice that another diver has already spawned and is invisible. However, I decide that it's worth the risk, so I go down, snag the guy because he's at low health, I'm able to kill him quick, and escape before the invisible diver manages to get a kill on me. Alright, with 9 kills already secured and not having died once, this game is already all but won. And not only that, you guys also got to see some of the more basic tactics that a lemon player might use in order to win the game. Okay, now this game was tough. This one was against a bunch of experienced divers who worked actually very well together. I'm sure some of you already recognize their names. But this match caused me to use new methods, new strategies, and new tricks in order to actually try and get a win. Because I'm not going to lie, it was a hell of a fight. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so right off the bat, I decide to go to the side entrance on the left side of the ship. The reason for this being, the divers, since these are experienced divers, generally know that sharks come from either the top or the front entrances, and I kind of want to be a little bit more unpredictable. Now, I won't do this all the time, but against experienced divers, I sometimes lean towards the more obscure entrances and exits. Upon entering the room, I notice that all the divers are on the far side together, so this is kind of good and kind of bad for different reasons. The good reason being that I'm able to go in without the fear of divers spotting me go in, but the downside is the divers are more likely watching each other's backs. Now that being said, I notice this diver kind of move out a little bit away from the rest of the group, so I decide to attack. And fucking miss! And then right after that, my partner suddenly disconnects. This is so unfortunate. At this point, I just decide to go grab a diver, and hopefully we can act- mm. Mm -hmm. And then I decide to go and check on the bot, and of course it's a lemon shark. This is probably one of the worst things that could happen, because now we're doubling up on lemon, which means our counters are the exact same. So the divers only have to get some set of upgrades and counter both sharks, rather than getting those upgrades to counter one or the other. Now, there are also two methods that we could employ here. The first one being that we can try and rush headlong in as fast as we can, get to the divers and try and kill as many divers before our teammate gets in. That way we can try and use our lives rather than our bot just rushing headlong and getting killed constantly over and over again. Now this method works a lot more in the beginning when the divers are kind of focused on getting gold, but not as much late game when they've gotten the gold that they need and they start looking at each other and watching each other's backs. This brings me to method two, which is basically you want to head in as your partner heads in. This way you can watch their back, kill the divers that are attacking them, and that way you can give your bot as much of a chance as getting kills as you can try. Now this is a lot more viable in the later game when all the divers are organized and watching each other, because this way they're going to have to focus on two sharks at the same time instead of one. Now, I decide to go down the main entrance this time in order to uh, surprise the divers a little bit. I manage to grab one diver. I immediately turn to the left while thrashing and try and lunge out my previous entrance because I know that there are no divers in that direction. It works pretty successfully. For my next attack, I decide to attack from the top. I notice that there is a diver in the main central hallway leading out to the front entrance. Now this is what sharks like to call a shark highway, which means it's an easy grab and I can easily lunge away with him as soon as I finish thrashing.
Now this next attack is a little bit more risky because there is a flare in my way and my ability isn't fully recharged. That being said, I decide to bank on the fact that my partner is in the room and likely distracting the divers enough that if they saw my shadow or my outline with the flare, that they wouldn't attack me. So I decide to head in. I see this diver on the top left who's all alone, so I decide to grab him and lunge out of there. And it's done pretty easily. I then head in after I finish healing and notice that my bot partner is in there wreaking havoc with all the divers. This is a perfect time for me to attack because he's taking all the attention. That being said, I notice this diver right in front of me who's shooting at my bot teammate, so I decide to grab him. Luckily he's at low health and a very quick kill. After that, I turn around and notice the last diver in their squad who's still alive, and I miss my first attack, but after that I manage to grab him and kill him before he's able to kill me. Now with the full squad wipe under our belts, I notice this guy who just spawned in trying to get a cheeky shot on me and kill me, but I clearly don't have the health to actually fight him, so I decide to leave and heal up before my next attack. I decide to lunge in. I manage to snag the diver and get him to low health, but inevitably die. It's starting to seem at this point like the divers are focusing less on gold and more on the sharks, which means method 2 might be something I'm going to start employing in the near future. For my next attack, I peek in and notice a diver on the top left who's actually hiding behind something and out of the line of sight from the other divers. So I decide to attack him first as the other divers won't be able to hit me while I'm thrashing him around. Now at this point there isn't really any form of escape so I decide to grab this diver and I actually end up dealing more damage than I expected but still don't kill him. Now it's time for my next attack. I decide to go after- fuck. I missed him. Okay, well, well, that's okay. I just gotta get out of here. I notice that the back wall now behind me, I can't escape from, and there isn't really any escape in front of me as all the divers know where I was and they're going to be coming from there. So the only thing I really can do is squeeze through this top part over here and try and sneak out. Luckily, nothing bad happens. I didn't even get shot at. It's time to set up my next attack. I notice my bot partner rushing headlong in, like not a surprise at all, and so I decide to head right in after him, grabbing one of the divers that's shooting at him. Luckily I managed to make it a trade. Now that the divers are focused more on the sharks, we've employed method 2, which means I'm going to be attacking with the bot. I notice that there's this guy in this upper ridge over here, and unfortunately he's being watched by the other divers, but at this point... Whoever I grab, it, it doesn't really matter, they're all going to be watched over by some other diver. So I decide to grab him, luckily I managed to get the kill. This next diver I see just waiting in the corner, watching over the room with some kind of spear weapon. And I decide instead of attacking him head on and going directly at him where he could spear me and kill me in one shot, I decide to go for the upper corner where he's at, so I can close the distance between myself and him, but also not make it so easy for me to get shot. This allows me to immediately look downwards and grab him and finish off the kill. Also, luckily Rick Dick manages to secure the last kill, so we get another quad. Now, for my next attack, I decide to grab a diver. Completely risky situation as he's being watched over. But Rick Dick is supposed to have my back, or, or um, I guess he just appeared two fucking seconds later, just after I already ended my attack. Th thank you. This time I'm not falling for it. Rick Dick's going in first. That's right. Brig bit. Bi whoa. Big brain time. Boy time. Brig. Bri bri big brain boy time. Anyways, I managed to get another trade and Rick Dick. Oh, fucking. <sighs> now I am in a very annoying situation here because as you can see, we have one life left. And while I obviously want to take that last life because I can deal more damage than Rick Dick can. Rick Dick is already fucking down there, which means that if I go in, he's likely going to get killed first, and then I will get killed second, meaning that was my last life. So unfortunately this time, I have to let Rick Dick die, take the life, and then waste the last life as well, because I cannot control him and not tell him not to go in right off the bat. Wow. 
Well, I mean, at least he damaged that guy, so we, we know that one of them is at lower health that we can grab later. Now we're at a wonderful 5v fucking 1. Now, if we were a tank shark like the Great White, we would be sweating fucking bullets. But, but, and this is a huge but, we're talking the juiciest fat- No, okay, okay, I think you guys get the point. The lemon is an assassin shark. This is literally where it excels, and they're about to be going in open water. So that's when I'm going to attack. Now, I noticed this diver trying to sneak up on the other side over here to get a good peek at what's above. Now, I don't like that, so obviously I'm going to attack him, considering the other divers aren't really looking at him. He actually manages to get a couple of scary shots on me, but luckily he was the one that Rick Dick damaged, so I was able to kill him, escape, and heal. In my next attack, I don't hit any of the divers, and that, that, this this was intentional, all, all part of the plan. Yes, th this is to uh, ensure that it all goes th accor according to, to plan. Yes. After circling around, I managed to snag another diver and it hit the geometry that all us sharkies fucking love. But it's okay, I start preparing for my next assassination. I do a lunge, but the diver hears me coming and so he darts out of the way. So luckily I don't get killed, but I'm going to have to go in again and try and go at a different angle. I lunge again and uh, I fucking miss again, of course, like the little pleb that I am. It's all good though, I circle around for another attempt. Luckily, this time, I spot a diver not paying attention away from his group, so he's a very easy snag. Grab the kill and get out of there. Now, this attack here is a little more risky considering the partner is looking in my direction. However, I decide to turn directly upwards and lunge away after I finish the kill and luckily avoid all the bullets. Now it is a 1v1, and I wait for the moment the diver looks in a different direction, and I make my strike. GG, well played. Anyways, all I gotta say is, Well, when life gives you lemons. Now, I really hope that you guys are able to take something out of this video and use it to help improve your lemon gameplay. That also being said, I did want to touch on two things. One being the shade skin. Now, I've heard from many people that they think it's broken. However, when I actually went out there and asked people what their opinions on it were, it was quite mixed. And a lot of people thought it was a good equalizer because it was a good skin that made the lemon, which is generally a bad shark, actually more of a viable shark to play. Also, in addition to that, this video was made off of the concept of someone named Vertroyer. If you guys want to check out his channel, he has a series called How a Shark Thinks. That it, honestly, probably way better than this video, so I highly recommend you guys give his channel a check. I will actually link his channel in the description below and probably his lemon uh, How a Shark Thinks video as well. Now, if you guys could leave a like and show me that this is the kind of content you guys want me uploading, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you guys could subscribe and join my kind sir kingdom, that would be, oh, that would make my day. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Lemons.